Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm just singing, she got going. You know, you, can you pass me the lighter? Yo, Caesar, can you pass me the lighter? <laughs> Yeah, moinga bez nai tinga, giri jali ma kali ma pinga. Yeah, gasal trek ni tinga, shi dali patak kali ma tinga. Ni patang kar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate the manzi, asante sana manzi. This is the dude that I first came to know about from um, a good friend of mine, Octopizo. Back in the days, freestyles ni nini? Akaniambia like yo, these these young guys that's really dope you need to listen to them and they played me your stuff and there'll be something on it i'll i'll, I'll play your for sure for sure you are the trap king trap god like you guys run a whole the adf family you guys slim k green you're so popular in the hood right now um, just and quickly before we jump into the whole conversation yes is that you have a new album that you dropped this year yeah i do yeah, I how do. many tracks um 30 tracks 30, 30 tracks tracks 30, 30 tracks 30, yeah so i released like uh the 20 the first 24 like um late last year around november I even had like a big um promo for it and then uh, i released the deluxe now the six extra versions like on uh, around april so that made like the whole complete 30 what? songs let's go straight into it like butros the yes. first question i'd ask you so, like lean Lean, lean culture. The purple. Double cup culture. Double cup. Double cup. Yeah, talk to me. You listen, you listen. Hey, yeah. are you in the double cup life, my G? Yeah, um, I used to be like Nikyo Yang in Likwana. You know, I was in the whole like if I said, yeah, you know, having the double cup is all cool, but I think it was a phase for me and then Nikachana now, so I'm no longer doing that. I've been clean for almost like five, four years. Wow. Yeah. But that is that is something you were exposed to through hip hop or was it something that other than hip hop influenced you? I would say hip hop played a part, but um, mostly in Nezasama peer pressure because the people like I was hanging around, it was kind of like, you know, that's, that was the ish, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that was what's down. Yeah, man, you know, you're a double cup, you know, you're the cool guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist. No, yeah, it was some peer pressure, it was mostly in any pigasana, but yeah, hip hop contributed a lot. Like when I come out, you like your peers, I'm the people you look up to, like on like some CP you, cup. You know what I'm saying? You trying to look like them, so yeah. No, I hear because with me it's the same thing. When I was when I was like in in high school, like, yeah. you know the thing was weed, uh, smoking marijuana to be cool and things like that. For so, sure. So I understand the peer pressure because everybody else was doing it, like, and I couldn't even understand how they could do it. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, now that you're five years clean. Yeah. Why did you decide to like stop taking lean? Was there like a close call or I wouldn't, an awakening? I wouldn't say a close call, but um, I just felt for me, it was just, you know, I don't know. I like to think for myself, like personally, I like to think for myself. For me, it was just not for me. I felt like it doesn't, it didn't make sense for me. Plus it was super unhealthy because I just like nearly angalia background ya I'm an any effects, uh, what do you call it? The side effects of like lean itself. Mm -hmm which is the codeine yeah you know what i'm saying you know so saying. It, for me it didn't make sense at all so i was i was a bit skeptical about it so i don't know the way i said i like to think for myself i like to think for myself but sasa you can the story for me like i'm an active person like every time like you can stage like i'm super active yeah so like when i'm on lean i'm low like i'm moody like in a depressed mode you chill super mellow you know mm. your stuff you know mm. your stuff so yeah. for me it was like this this it is not it wasn't sitting well with you basically. yeah so i just felt okay I, f I feel that and um you know that's one of the side effects because you see people don't understand and the thing with lean is that it's something that you mix with it looks good you know you mix it with a little bit of sprite yeah you add that ice in there it doesn't look like you're doing anything wrong but the funny thing is that one bottle of lean has got so much codeine like it's like taking like three packets of like you know like codeine drugs like you've been popping pills what it's like popping like 30 because i know guys like will tell you like yo may i just do like a cough one bottle of cough syrup a day you know i mix a it day. with that yeah in a day in a day bro <laughs> like for real <laughs> but it's it gives people a certain you know it gives people a certain high and i'm glad we talked about it today because and and people are listening to it it's because we're not here to condemn anyone or we're not here to judge for sure um we're just here to inform people like everybody makes mistakes like with me like i told you marijuana of course i've experimented you've done your 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 you know your lean which is the codeine and you realize it's not for you 
but codeine is an opioid and that's something that you need to understand people an opioid is very very addictive it will numb the pain it's known to numb the pain we usually give it to people who have a lot of pain conditions such as cancer and they're dealing with chronic pain every single day and unfortunately it does numb our pain and our pain is not one that is physically afflicted but it is something that is underlying in us and that is what forms addiction so my message to you niggas out there is listen i understand you're going through something and you gotta deal with certain things in life but lean and codeine is an opioid it is something from the doctor you heard the wellness doctor dr vundi told us how it can mess with your respiratory so you can die so do what you love don't look for another void in other drugs addiction is deeper than that so let's sort out the underlying condition and let's not be doing things that we don't need to do let's For stay sure. healthy wear our masks corona is real this nigga is not doing lean anymore but he's doing some of the best hip-hop that's ever been done you know what i'm saying the niggas topped like spotify all of the streaming you know nigga <laughs> So you don't need the lean to like stay clean, my you nigga. Do not, you stay do not. clean, you don't need the lean. Do your thing. It's the hip hop doctor with Boutros. You heard it from us, guys. Stay 100. safe. Stay safe. Manzi.